Hello group. I'm at the Mosque Corner in Grand Route St. John. And um, this is Bayou St. John out this way. And he's a fire hydrant. It says it's the oldest known fire hydrant in New Orleans. And also a major technological advancement. It bears the date of the patent that revolu revolutionized firefighting techniques. Bird Sill Holly, whose count of um, versus patents was second only to Thomas Edison. His hydrant allowed firefighters positions their equipment. Wait, I gotta turn the page. Hold up. <laughs> Closer to the blaze, they were combating in, in New Orleans. The hydrant lit their, the pump water directly from the bayou with added pressure to make it attach hoses radically more powerful and efficient. Because I think back in the day before this um, hydrant was in use in things, they had to um, literally just take buckets from the water and put out fires. And so I was looking for, I guess this is it. It must be the black part that is um, pretty old. Doesn't have a sign near it to say anything, but um, it did say this is the corner. And so over here, I noticed this is um, a historical house on the corner in front. And I'll just pan real fast and I'll stop in front of the sign. There's the house, West Indies style. Erected about 1784. And it has some nice gardens. And I'm going to stop it here for a second. I just walked a few houses down. Um, it's a church next door. A Lady the Holy Rosary. So I don't know if this is part of it or if this is a private house. I'm not really sure. But um might be a private house. I'm not sure. But it looks very old. And the church is over here. So I just thought you might want to sneak a peek at this. There's no... um you know, like historical sign in front of this one. Just another angle. And it's still, we're still across from Bayou St. John. Yeah. This looks like another house that is undergoing renovations, perhaps. I'm not sure if it's just abandoned. Or are they working on it? I'm not sure. I guess I, there's nothing seen about um, renovation. So maybe it's just abandoned. But that's how the houses looked back in the day. Time to smell a flower, a lily. And by the way, I was just saying um, um, that I was telling you that um, that, that house might have been abandoned. Um, well, guess what? A lady was driving her car in the driveway and she was smiling and, and I was saying, let, let her go. And she says, no, you can go. And I said, okay, so maybe it is being renovated or somebody's living there. I don't know, but it, it does. It's probably not abandoned then. Hold up. Let me see what's down here. Well, um, we're near the Petite house. That's a few houses down I walked. So here's the sign, um, home of James Petit, 1761 through 1831. Um, Petit was the first mayor of the incorporated city of New Orleans, 1804 to 1805. Also built of one of the city's first cotton pressers. Bought this house in 1811, built around the late 18th century. I'm gonna go closer.